Hello, today we will be committing a little bit of art theft. To give you context, no, we're not going to be stealing people's art. On Proko's podcast called Draftsman, they said that you can learn by copying really good artists. Today I'm going to put that to a test. Why are we flickering? Excuse me. Excuse me, flickering. I'm going to try and take in some artist's drawing style and then try and replicate what they are doing by drawing something different. We will be going through Instagram and trying to find something. Let's see. Let's go to the search. We are interested in this page, which as I understand is our discovery page. I am definitely instantly drawn to something like this. It is very much like something that could be learned from, something that is doable, something that is not realism, because that takes a very long time and this video won't even be anywhere near to covering how much time that actually takes. Let's check out what more does this user has to offer. I love, 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 love this art style. I like the really um, harsh kind of shadows. So this is account number one, I guess. So yeah, definitely not this. That I've always wanted to draw kind of these picturesque naturey thingies. So we will have to literally dissect a painting. It is a fun process actually to just like look at a painting, analyze and try and see what this artist has done to create this piece of art. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, such a cute dog. His drawings are absolutely stunning. The use of color. Uh, I will also be tagging each of these artists in my comments below, so if you want to find them, go follow them. I will literally do the same. I'm really having trouble to find the second artist, so I guess we will be replicating two of them. And to commemorate season four of Stranger Things for both of them, let's attempt something very Stranger Things. So I have everything set up and we can start drawing. So, let's go! Right after I started drawing, I realized how well rigid solid lines work for sketching something. I am never using transparent pencil lines ever again in my sketches. That was absolutely amazing. I picked some colors from the images and then created some of my own for variation. I had quite a lot of trouble finding the right brush for the actual color painting part of the drawing, but uh, at the end I managed to find one and it was really, really nice to be able to really quickly block in all the shapes of the colors and all the sh shadows. I went into a little bit more of a detail when I was drawing the red finny thingies and I went into detail with the teeth, but that's mostly because I, I, want, I wanted the viewer to point the attention towards that. Replicating this artist's drawing style was quite a pleasant experience and I learned quite a new few widgets. At the end, I added some highlights and called it a day. Okay, so that is it for the first drawing. Uh, if we put that next to it, I think I did pretty okay, actually. Of course, mine is nowhere near as perfect as his. I also tried to replicate that shaky effect he did on the, on the drawing next to it, like uh, here on the arms and on the... Uh, those things as well, like the shaky effect. The more I look at his art, I am also tempted to choose 
some not like not something like this something like this which is a little bit more sketchy not like sketchy but like sketchy i am so afraid of the skill this artist has at drawing let's go for it let's find some landscape let's look at his art and try and to steal his style with this piece i decided to challenge myself just that one bit more and to combine two images into one drawing and this was very interesting i looked for solid 30 minutes at his art and tried to understand how and where and in what ways he is making the shapes for for his painting and it seems that he is using the lasso tool but i'm not sure that's what i used uh that's what i ended up using to paint this and it was quite finicky i i will say that i didn't like using the lasso tool for making all the shapes to me it kind of turned me off of this whole process but i do like the way that you can just put down solid foundation with that and maybe I will incorporate in some specific kind of use cases that kind of effect as well but I had quite a lot of trouble with the ground and making making it look coherent and like look all similar and nice it was quite the trouble for me at the end, it did kind of feel like something in this art piece is missing, something is not pulling it all together, I need some, some little bit of, of pizzazz, so I decided to add a quick little lightning bolt. So, this is the result of my second uh, copyment of style. At the end, uh, I want to kind of... Uh, ruminate on my own thoughts about all of this, this whole process. I think this is a really, really good learning opportunity. I don't condone particularly full-on copying other people's style. This is more kind of learning through visually taking in how they are doing art and just kind of applying their methods to your own working process. I've never tried sketching with like rigid lines, I've always like used like really fuzzy pencils lines. Strong lines for sketching for some reason was liberating and it's a lot less messy than I than what I have been doing previously. So I will definitely incorporate that for my sketches. I will definitely do more of this. This was so fun. I might even do a whole episode 2 of copying people's art styles. Thank you for watching the video. People I copied their Instagrams and if they have their YouTubes will be linked below. And also all of my social media links you can also find below. I stream on Twitch every Saturday at 6pm. UTC. See you in the next video.